is Will and you're watching Plan B News. When all your other news sources fail, come to us. We're your Plan B News Station and we have a lot to talk about on our first episode. It starts now. Thank you for tuning in to Plan B, the first episode. I'm Will. I'm sitting here with Maddie, special guest for the evening, and we have a lot to talk about, so let's jump right in. First of all, Black Friday is just around the corner. It's on Friday. I'm going. Are you going? You're going? Yeah. What are you, where are you going? To the mall. To the I mean, mall. I'm being forced, really, because I don't really want to get trampled. Okay, well, the good thing is that it starts on Thursday. Yeah, you have to go at midnight. No, you can go at 8 o'clock. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, you can I... go at 8 o'clock. You can skip your Thanksgiving dinner, and you can go to Walmart no, at 8 o'clock. No, Thanksgiving dinner starts at 4. Thanksgiving dinner starts at 4. Wow. So you'll be ready at 8 o'clock yeah. to go to Walmart. I'm not going to Walmart. Okay. It's good because I know some people die <laughs> on Black Friday at Walmart. People are crazy yeah. on Black Friday. I always wondered if people actually do it for the shopping or they just do it just to do it. I feel like you don't get that much of a discount. Or yeah. unless, I wouldn't want unless... to stay out in the cold for that long. Hell no. Just get like 50 bucks off. Right, so are people actually buying gifts for Christmas, or are they just buying shit because it's cheap? I would just buy shit because it's cheap. Like, oh, this TV is $39. Let's just buy it. I bought one last Black Friday, but let's buy another one. Because it's $39. So did you? Or are you saying someone I else? I did. No. Okay. Okay. And you know what Black Friday means? Thanksgiving. Really? I didn't know that. <laughs> Just in time for Thanksgiving, there's this new song by Nicole Westbrook. It's called... It's the stupidest shit ever. It's called It's Thanksgiving. It's stupid. And what they were going for, I think, was the Friday feel. The Friday music video, which was by Rebecca Black. Which is think? also ridiculous. Which is also ridiculous, but I think it's since it was more original, it was like one of a kind. Now, just with this Thanksgiving thing, she's just trying to copy Rebecca Black's heat, and it's just... Can I listen to it? Yeah. Yeah. Right now? Let's do it. It's... Are you kidding? I haven't even seen the video. You haven't seen the video? Cole Westbrook. Obviously super talented. No, I'm kidding. I would hope you would be. <laughs> but whoever wrote the song I think is pure genius with the lyrics, my favorite lyrics, with the turkey A and mashed potatoes A. We 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 are gonna have a good time. Then she gets a little more demanding and says, We need the turkey A and mashed potatoes. It's Thanksgiving. That it's... just gonna be tired. <laughs> because turkey makes you tired. Turkey makes you tired. Yes, there's like a drug or something, I don't know. They're drugging our turkeys to make us no, tired. No, there's something in the turkey that is true. It's true, I'm not lying, I swear. That makes you tired. That's Does anybody really actually snacks. like turkey? Or is it just that oh, we have to turkey. make turkey? Turkey breast. The breast? Yeah. Well, I like the dark meat because it's juicy. Point. The breast is so dry though. Yeah, but I don't need dark meat. <laughs> Moving on. So, Michaela Maroney, who's somebody I didn't know who the hell she was, but for some reason she got to meet Obama because she is on the U.S. gymnastics Olympic team, and this is what she did with the President of the United States of America. I just want to know how she got him to do that. Exactly. That's why the photo is so popular. Because it's like, how does she get him? Hey, Obama, let's do the duck face. <laughs> <laughs> the duck face. See, I thought it was the duck face too, but apparently, it's the not impressed face. 
So I don't know if she's not impressed with his first term as president, but absolutely I thought it was the MySpace duck face from yeah, 2006. They should have cropped the bitch in the corner out. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously they didn't do some good cropping there. But her uh, face is, is not. you know what's weird though is now that we're getting older and I'm looking up, I'm hearing about these celebrities and I'm thinking, oh, they're my age and then I look and find out they're like 17. They're like, born in 95. How old is she? 17. Really? Or 16. I think she's turning 17. Oh my God. It's like, how are you on the Olympic gymnastic team at the age of 16? Because she can do some really damn good somersaults. Good for her. Good for can her. Can you do a somersault? So, I don't even remember what that is. It's a, it's a fucking a roll on the ground. Well, who can't deal with that? Who so, can't, I don't know. Like it, that was easy. <laughs> somersault. That was easy. It's a somersault. I can't do the... The, uh... What's the... The cartwheel. That's the hard one. Okay. I'm sure she can do that. Anyway, move on to some entertainment uh, news. We have our Billboard Hot 100 charts, top 10 songs in the country. So, let's start, let's kick it off with number 10, I Cry, by Flo Rida. Was is that the guy with the apple pop jeans and boots with the fur? <laughs> I'm not sure. Is that the song? What is that song called? I mean, he has a lot of popular songs. That's like his first one that came out that everyone was just like, okay, oh my god. I don't like him because it seems like every song sounds the same. Yeah, like wild ones. Exactly, because every song he raps the verses and he has some random person sing the chorus. Have you seen his videos? I They're all just girls and him just surrounded by girls. No that is kidding. offensive. Okay, <laughs> number nine is Too Close by Alex Kerr. I actually kind of like that song but it's getting really annoying now. It's getting annoying because it's trendy and it's everywhere. Yeah. And... Like I bought it and then I regretted it a week later. <laughs> It's very dubstep -y, right? Yeah. And I'm just wondering when this dubstep thing is going to go away. And then number eight is Let Me Love You by Neo. I like that song. It's a cute song. It's a good one. Even and though Neo is an interesting character. He's interesting? He's interesting. Why? I don't know. He's fucking weird. He's weird. <laughs> He's, okay, all of a sudden, what is his other song called? I don't know. It's not like, oh, let me love you, or you love yourself. Is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. No, it's weird. It's okay, weird. you think just because he doesn't beat up his girlfriend like yes! this round? Yes! Yes! God! <laughs> He's weird? Yeah. Okay. You want, you, he doesn't have enough of an edge. Yes. Okay. There you go. But I do like that song. I'll okay. Lie. I just want to kind of skip over number seven. No, I know. I already looked at it. Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor We're Swift. We're discussing it. We are never, ever, ever. No, it's not three ever's. How many ever's? Two. Two ever's. Never ever. We are never ever. No, just never ever. Getting back together by Taylor <laughs> Swift, which is my idol. Just your idol. I'm just kidding. Yeah, and also her album's been number three, or sorry, number one on the charts for three weeks. Because she's year. awesome. She's she's appealing. To the fans. You it's are being fans. so sarcastic right now. <laughs> she's appealing to her fans. You're not a fan. I'm not. I mean, she's good at what she does. She makes big bucks. She makes money. She does. And, and I like that song, so don't hate on it. <laughs> Alright. Um, Locked Out of Heaven is number six by Bruno Mars. I'm... Whatever. <laughs> number five. <laughs> Gangnam Style. Oh God. By Psy. And this, I think this is interesting because we rarely see a song that's not in English get popular in yeah. America. It's crazy. And everyone just makes up their own words. <laughs> exactly. Like they make up their own sound effects, basically. And one time I actually looked up what the lyrics mean. Yeah. And it's just too. like, well, it's never what I thought. Although I think it's weird that in uh, Korean, sexy ladies is the same as in English. That is weird. Because he says sexy ladies, so I'm assuming I thought that was Korean. just like the, yeah, I thought that was just him being all English for a oh, second. maybe that's it. To, you know, appeal to Americans. Um, number four is Some Nights by Fun. Mm, they're getting really old. <laughs> that song or the group? Everything about them. <laughs> okay. Like, we Are Young, Some <laughs> Nights, and what's the other one that, I don't know, there's one more that is always on my radio. Okay. On my radio. Uh, 
What makes me mad about, I love that song, but what makes me mad is that they spell their name, fun, with a lowercase f. And a period. And a period. Why are you judging them? It's different. Would you were the one that were, was just hating on them. <laughs> I'm saying I like their music, but... I'm just saying it's like repetitive and old. It just gets old okay. and annoying. Um, number three is Die Young by Kesha, which is interesting because I thought she died. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but apparently she's still alive. I saw her in concert, and she I thought it was gonna be terrible, and I only went because I had free tickets. And she was, um, just a really interesting performer. <laughs> what does she do in con in concert? Does she dance, or does she just like? She just sings her song, and then she talks. She doesn't associate. Well, she just I well, there. Bar, yeah, she, she didn't like talk to us. Obviously. She didn't talk to you guys. No, she just sang, sang, sang her song. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Stopped and went off stage. That's rude. It was, and I was offended. I'm like, I know I didn't pay for these, <laughs> but you know, I would like you to say, hey, Maddie, what's up? Exactly. <laughs> Number two is Diamonds by Rihanna. I don't like that song. Really? I, yeah, really. Why? I just, I don't know. I just don't care of it. I don't really like Rihanna, except for We Found Love. Everybody likes We Found Love, and it's one of the classics. Awesome. One of our better songs. It's one of our better songs. I was gonna say it's a classic. It's a classic. It has to be. It has to be old, like the Beatles. Well, it's from 2011. Oh my God! Oh, because we're almost in 2015. Okay. That's right. So now it's a classic. And drum roll. Number one is "One More Night" by Maroon Five. I really like that. Okay. All right. Moving on to the. <laughs> Box off. I mean, I like I like them, but it seems like they just. It all sounds the same, and he has that little whiny voice, and yeah. it all sounds the same. But I don't like that song. But I do like that. Okay. So the box office top five movies for the week. We have number five, Flight. I want to see that. Okay. Number four, Wreck It Ralph. I saw that. Okay. And it was super cute, and I want to go see it again. All right. Number three is Lincoln. Which I want to see too. Which is actually based on a true story. Really? Based on the life of uh, President Lincoln. I heard it was it's doing really well. I think you told me that. Or was that just well, a joke? No, the joke is that... <laughs> Don't tell it wrong. Okay, here's the joke. Lincoln is doing well in theaters. Historically, this has not been true. <laughs> because Lincoln was killed in a theater. You still think it's hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. That's like as, as offensive as it can get. You're making fun of the death. Who said like, that? It was a meme. Oh. Can you describe yeah. what a meme is? Because I don't know what a meme is. Our audience, the PCA audience, the average age is like 55, but they, I'm sure they know what a meme I is. I didn't even know what a meme was until okay. like last week. So a meme is like... I didn't like know that's what it was called. A picture, and then it has words over it. <laughs> That is a joke. Usually sarcastic, ridiculous. Rude. <coughs> rude. Okay, so Lincoln is number three in our box office for this weekend. Number two is Skyfall. I haven't seen that. Don't wanna. Don't wanna? <laughs> you, just don't, you don't dabble in James Bond. I just, I don't, I'm not a fan of the James Bond movies. They are a little like. Thank you extreme. for agreeing, because everyone's like, oh my god, you're a horrible person. <laughs> you're Are you human? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I mean, they're just a little far-fetched for me in the action moves. and. Yeah, and I just don't like Adele's song either. You don't like Adele? Adele's song. And don't even. You said you didn't like Adele, so don't even. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I love Adele. You're lying. Kind of. You don't even like British accents. I don't like British accents. I know you don't. We're going to discuss this. I know, but we have an audience. Okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm aware. You know how many people are watching this show at Two. home? Two! One's going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the number one movie, drum roll. Do you know what it's going to be? No. Wait. No. Twilight. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Twilight is... Breaking I don't know Dawn whatever. Part two. Okay, Breaking Dawn Part the end Two. Of the saga. Isn't it messed up when they break one book into two movies? We did that with Harry Potter too. So that was. <laughs> that was good though. But 
But it's completely for financial gain. It's like... You wouldn't do that? I probably would. Exactly. Did you hear about this whole... Apparently the two uh, main stars of this movie were in a relationship. And the uh, one... Hold on. The vampire and the girl. The girl cheated on him. In yeah. real life. I know. Kristen Stewart. Yeah. Have you seen her face? That was, that's rude. That is rude. Have I seen her face? Yeah, she only has like one facial expression. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I think she's like one of the most interesting famous people I've seen in a while because it's like, I mean, she just, I don't think she has a stylist. I think she kind of just goes through her grandma's closet and just like, let's wear this. Her grandma's closet. Okay. <laughs> and she's like, she's trying to go for that like. It's very, I haven't seen her smile cool, in the picture. Like, she doesn't smile. She seems very like cold and yeah. Yeah. creepy. Yeah. And a cheater. That's just not cool. <laughs> yes. Who cheats on a vamp? Who <laughs> cheats on a vampire? That's just ridiculous. Those viewers at home who don't know what Twitter is, it is a social media site and they have trending topics, which are like big topics that are being discussed. That are hashtagged. That are hashtagged. Which is not a reference to marijuana or any drug. Um, no, it's not for Facebook, people. Oh yeah, don't hashtag on Facebook and what the hashtag is the number is. <laughs> or Maddie will murder you. All right, trending on Twitter. Work for Will was the first one that I saw. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it wasn't very interesting. Like you Goodwill, will. You go work for Goodwill. <laughs> it should have been work for or, the Goodwill. Or will work for you. Or <laughs> I'm just like confused. I was confused too. And these update like every three seconds, so you could you should just like check it like two seconds. So you mean when our viewers watch this in three weeks, it's gonna be different? Yes. <laughs> okay. Shake my head. <laughs> Trending on Twitter. Work for Will. Become Will Arnett's assistant. Do you know who that is? No. He is an actor. And he's in a commercial for AT and T where you can become his assistant. Yeah, I don't I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't get it either. Trending on Twitter next, Kelly Clarkson. She's trending. Well, I and just don't get why. Like, she hasn't done anything recently. Are you kidding me? It's Kelly, it's Kelly fucking Clarkson. I'm not hating on her. I'm just saying I don't get it. Okay. Have you... Where have you been the last ten years? I'm dead, mean? obviously. <laughs> okay. Red carpet is 20, trending. Like, uh, what's trending on Twitter? What show is that? Oh, there's an award show? Maybe that's why it's true. No, isn't there, uh, well, maybe all award shows have a carpet, if that would make sense. I don't know. Yeah, I think they do. And the Raiders... Who are, suck. Yeah. Sorry, Oakland, but you suck. The Raiders lost their last three games at the time that this was filmed. <laughs> um, yeah, and they're trending for some reason. I guess they're trending for sucking. Or people have hope. People do have hope. They do. They hold on to that shit for well, a long time. Well, those Raiders fans. They're relentless. You know, they don't mess around. They don't. Fuck your shit up. Right. So, okay. Wow. <laughs> on that note, I think that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching Plan B. Tune in next time for another episode of Plan B. Toodaloo.